This is Me, I Am Mental. Who isn't? A quick disclaimer. The content you find here is neither intended to be therapy or diagnosis. It is provided for educational, informational, and entertainment purposes only. Welcome once again to Me, I Am Mental, where we endeavor to bring you factual, credible, useful, and engaging information on mental health. Today's video builds up on our previous short video on childhood trauma. Childhood trauma refers to experiences that cause significant distress and have a lasting impact on a child's emotional, psychological, and physical well-being. There are various common causes of childhood trauma, and it's important to recognize and address them in order to promote healing and well-being for affected children. While the following list is not exhaustive, here are some common causes to consider. Number one, physical abuse. Physical abuse involves the intentional use of force to cause harm, injury, or pain to a child. This can include hitting, slapping, kicking, or any other form of physical violence. Number two, emotional abuse. Emotional abuse refers to the consistent patterns of demeaning, belittling, or verbally attacking a child. It can lead to low self-esteem, anxiety, and emotional difficulties. Number three, sexual abuse. Sexual abuse involves any form of inappropriate sexual behavior or contact with a child, which can cause deep emotional wounds and have long-lasting effects on the child's psychological development. Number four, neglect. Neglect occurs when a child's basic needs, such as food, clothing, shelter, medical care, and emotional support, are not consistently met. This can lead to physical and emotional harm and hinder a child's healthy development. Number five, parental substance abuse. When parents or caregivers struggle with substance abuse, it can lead to neglect, emotional turmoil, and an unstable living environment for the child. Number six, Domestic violence. Witnessing or being exposed to domestic violence can be highly traumatic for children as they often feel helpless and scared witnessing violence between their parents or caregivers. Number seven, loss or bereavement. The death of a loved one or significant loss can be profoundly distressing for children, especially if they lack the necessary support to cope with their grief. Number eight, parental divorce or separation. The breakdown of a family unit can be traumatic for children, causing feelings of abandonment, insecurity, and emotional distress. Number nine, natural disasters or accidents. Experiencing natural disasters or serious accidents can be highly traumatic for children, leading to feelings of fear, helplessness, and vulnerability. Number 10. Bullying. Prolonged experiences of bullying, whether in school or other settings, can have a significant impact on a child's self-esteem and emotional well-being. Number 11. Medical trauma. Prolonged hospitalization, medical procedures, or serious illnesses can be traumatic for children, causing fear, anxiety, and a sense of loss of control. Last but not least, war and conflict. Growing up in war-torn or conflict ridden regions can expose children to violence, displacement, and loss leaving lasting scars on their emotional and psychological well-being. It's important to remember that each child's experience is unique and the effects of childhood trauma can vary wildly. Supportive environments, therapy, and interventions that address trauma 
can play a crucial role in helping children heal and build resilience. If you suspect a child is experiencing trauma, seeking professional help and support is essential. Thank you.